In this video, we will go over how to install MySQL version 8.0 on an Ubuntu 22.04 LTS server. By completing this tutorial, you will have a working relational database that you can use to build your next website or application. For you to be able to follow this tutorial, you will need an Ubuntu 22.04 LTS server. To set this up, check the description below and follow my video on how to install Ubuntu 22.04 LTS server. Now, let's get into it. First, we need to connect to the Ubuntu server via SSH. To be able to do this, we need to download and install Putty SSH client. Let's open the browser and go to putty.org. Then, click on download putty link. This will redirect to the official website. Let's choose the 64-bit installer. Once the download is complete, let's open the file and install putty. Once we run the installer, we can press enter to accept the subsequent defaults. Now, installation is done, go ahead and search PuTTY in the start menu and open it. Let's put the IP of the Ubuntu server to connect. In my case, the IP of my Ubuntu server is 192.168.0.50. Input your username and password to log in the Ubuntu server. Once connected, you can now install MySQL 8 using the Ubuntu Advanced Packaging Tool. At the time of making this video, the version of MySQL available in the default Ubuntu repository is version 8.0.30. To install it, update the package index on your server. Type sudo apt update and press enter. Now enter your password. Then let's install the MySQL server package. Type sudo app-y install MySQL server and then press enter. After that, my SQL service should be running now. We can check by running the systemctl status command. Type systemctl status mysql.service and then press enter. You should see a green text saying active running. At this point, we already installed and started my SQL server. Next, we need to set up the MySQL root user on how it authenticates. First, Let's open up the MySQL prompt. Type sudo MySQL and then press enter. Then run the following alter user command to change the root user's authentication method to one that uses a password. This command changes the authentication method to MySQL native password. Now type alter user single quote root single quote at sign single quote localhost single quote identified with mysql underscore native underscore password by single quote password single quote and end it with semicolon. Note that the password at the end of the command is the actual password. I just put password for simplicity. Do not use this kind of password in production. After making this change, exit the MySQL prompt. 
type exit, and press enter. Next step, we want to run the database management system's included security script. This script changes some of the less secure default options for things like disallowing remote root logins and removing sample users. Type sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation and then press enter. Now, enter the root password that you just set on the previous step. This will take you through a series of prompts where you can make some changes to the MySQL installation security options. The first prompt will ask whether you'd like to set up the validate password plugin, which can be used to test the password strength of new MySQL users. If you enable validate password plugin, any MySQL user you create that authenticates with a password will be required to have a password that satisfies the policy. It's a good idea to enable this plugin. Let's press Y here. Then the second prompt will ask the level of password validation policy. We will select number 2 for strong here. You will then receive a feedback on the strength of your current root password. The script will ask if you want to continue with the current root password or if you want to enter a new one. Assuming you're satisfied with the strength of the current password, enter no to continue the script. From here, you can press Y and then enter to accept the defaults for all the subsequent questions. This will remove some anonymous users, disable remote root logins, and remove the test database, and load these new rules so that MySQL immediately respects the changes you have made. Once the script completes, your MySQL installation will be secured. I want to mention something very important here. Upon installation, MySQL creates a root user that has full privileges over the MySQL server, meaning it has complete control over the MySQL server. Because of this, it's best to avoid using this account outside of administrative functions. You can try to log into MySQL root user using the following command. Type sudo mysql-u root dash now enter the MySQL root password. Now, you are logged in as root user. You can now create database, table, user, and so on. That's all for now. If this video helped you in any way, please like share and subscribe. Thank you.